Hey guys and welcome back. I got 10 more questions for the arithmetic reasoning portion of the ASVAB just for you. So go ahead and stick around all the way to the end to see these 10 solutions. There are two ways you can do this question on the ASVAB. You have $160, you're taking 20% off and we're finding the new price. So I could either take 0 0.20, the decimal form of this percent, and multiply it by the 160 to find the discount and then subtract that from the 160 to get my final answer. Or I could do 0 0.80 times the 160 and that would give me the answer right off on how much it would cost. This is easier for me to do in my head. Two times 16 is gonna give me 32. And in that case, I can subtract the 32 from the 160, and that's going to give me 128, which is answer C. So number two on the ESVAB says that a subway car pauses three stations every 10 minutes. At this rate, how many stations will it pass in one hour? One hour is 60 minutes, so that would be six 10-minute intervals. And if you're doing six 10-minute intervals, meaning that there's three each time, you would just do six times three here to get a final answer of 18. So because the ASVAB doesn't allow you to use a calculator, I'm going to do this a little bit differently. It says three-fourths represents one mile. That means if I broke this into one-fourth, one-fourth, and one-fourth, each one of those when, uh, would be worth one-third of a mile, because added together, that's all equal to one mile. Down here, I can notice that this can be broken down into two pieces. First off, we have one and a half, also rewritten as one and two-fourths, just to help out in this situation. And if I add to that, I need one more fourth. Well, here's the deal. This right here is just two of these, so that's two miles. And this is only one of these one-thirds, so that's one-third of a mile, meaning our final answer here is B. Number four is a ratio game. If I have two baseballs for every three golf balls, how many golf balls would I have if I had 30 baseballs? Well, in this case, to go from 2 to 30, we multiplied by 15, meaning we multiply the bottom by 15 as well, giving me 30 over 45. That means that our answer here is D. So we have four people sharing a taxi, and it's going to cost them $36, and they're going to split that four ways. That means each one of them is paying $9, but they're also tipping 25% of that whole 36. Well, 25% is also just a way of saying one-fourth of your original number. Well, we already know that 36 divided by 4 is $9, so they're tipping $9. But we need to divide that tip between all four of them as well, which is going to give me two dollars and 25 cents. Now, if that's the case, add these two together to see that they're going to be paying a total of 11.25 each. If a car travels one over 100 kilometers each second, how many kilometers does it travel in an hour? Well, we know that there are 60 seconds in a minute, and then there's going to be 60 minutes in an hour. So we're looking at a total of 3,600 seconds in an hour. And we know that in a second, it's one over 100. So how many total kilometers would that be? Just divide this guy by 100 then. And that's going to end up giving us 36, which is answer A. So 20 minus negative 5. Well, this is asking if you know what to do when you are subtracting a negative. If you have a minus minus, you can actually take this guy and just kind of move it over here sideways to make this plus and cancel it out. That means this is really just 20 plus 5, which is 25. Answer B. Miss Smith drove 700 miles for a business trip, averaged 35 miles per gallon, gas is $1.25 per gallon. So how much money is going to be spent here? Well, first off, let's find out how many gallons were used. We're going to do the 700 divided by the 35. Well, I know that 350 doubled, so times 2 would give me that, and that's one decimal over. So that's going to mean that 700 divided by 35 is 20. And then we need to go ahead and multiply that by the 1.25 to get our final answer. Well, 20 times 1.25 would be a fourth of that added to it because of the 0.25. So that would be 5. So 20 plus 5 is 25. So this is a total of $25, which is answer C. After eating 25% of the jelly beans, Brett had 72 left. How many did... Brett have originally. So typically what I would do here is working backwards and knowing that 25% is used, that means that this is 75% of the original. 72 divided by 0.75 gives the answer, but we don't have a calculator here. So instead, I see that all of these are whole numbers. So that means that I know my answer has to be divisible by 4 in order to go right here. Well, knowing that 100 is divisible by 4 and this is 4 away from it, our answer must be D, 96. 
So a student finishes an exam in 60 minutes, and it says that it took him two-thirds of the time for the first half as it did for the time of the second half. So that means that this is the equation we have here. If we combine the two of these, that gives us 5 over 3 x equals to 60. So we're going to solve for x here to see what it took for the second half of the exam. So that means that 60 times 3 is going to give me 180 equal to 5x. Divide both sides by the 5 to get that x is going to be equal to 36. Now that's the second half of the exam. So if I take that away from 60, it tells us the first half took 24 minutes. Don't stop there. That was only 10 questions of this portion of this test. Remember, I have videos on the mathematical knowledge portion, on the arithmetic reasoning, and even on the word knowledge portion of this test. So go ahead and check out my channel and see what other videos you can find to help you with your next attempt at the ASVAB.